Hello Conflict of Nations Commanders and welcome in part 8 of the Battle Royale and today with the second episode of the final battle against the European Coalition. I'm still struggling here with the naval battle but I am trying hard to hard to manipulate my surface vessels to be able to defeat the Romanian and Belarusian attack submarines. Fortunately I have a lot of naval recon aircrafts. They are max level and they are deadly against the European attack submarines. Also my naval recon aircrafts they are Equipped with max level cruise missiles, I have 146 uh, conventional warheads. They are very lethal against surface vessels and I only use the attack feature of my naval recon aircrafts against the attack submarines. Here in the front, uh, in the northern front, the south of Turkey, uh, Belarus is advancing with surface vessels. These are not attack submarines, these are combinations of destroyers and cruisers. I'm sending, look here, this is Austrian Navy, it's still in standby in the Adriatic Sea. Also here, look here, this huge army of Austria is still in standby as a plan B for the European coalition. It is perfect with SAMs, multiple rocket launchers and a lot of infantry, it's also infantry officer. So here I really believe that this war is going to be very hard. It is already hard. If you didn't see the first episode, you should watch it. And here also Romania is assaulting me with his uh, helicopter wing. He have a lot of ASW helicopters and he is targeting my stack of cruisers. Well, fortunately, my cruisers, they have good uh, anti-air defense against helicopters, so practically this is not a smart move from Romania, as he will really lose all of his helicopters, I guess. We will see what will happen to that uh, elite wing officer of the helicopters. We will see what will happen to him. Here I am launching some cruise missiles on these surface vessel Belarus uh, ships, um, and I hope they don't have frigates, so I can be able to kill them with my cruise missiles. My anti-air has been already launched on those Romanian helicopters, you see here my frigates, they are in a really low time and we will see what will happen to those helicopters actually against a combination of cruisers and frigates and more and more they are coming all the way. You see those ASW they have damage against submarines with 15 and 6.5 against surface vessels. Finally, the elite railgun is dead. The Belarusian stack of 10 max level elite railguns is dead against my max level multiple rocket launchers. This is good news. Now I can focus heavily on their uh, remaining artillery on the land battle. To be honest, the land battle is going very well. It's just that those uh, Serbian missiles. Those Serbian missiles, they inflicted a lot of damage to my land army in the first episode of this war and they are, they were really lethal and so strong. So this is about the helicopters. He already lost two helicopters and he really had a lot of damage. With the second really strike, he will suffer a lot. My cruise missiles, they are on the way to the Belarusian surface vessels. I have a stack of five in the capital of Cairo. I will uh, use it on this uh, sonar radar under Heraklion. Romania have a lot of ASW helicopters. He is sending more and more. This is Serbian max level air superiority fighters. These are my anti-air combination of max level SAMs and max level mobile anti-air. Anti-air division Belarus has been defeated. I lost an anti-air battalion there. On near Gaziantep, uh, a Turkish city. Here I'm helping with my uh, stack of frigates and cruisers to attack those Belarusian artilleries. Look how much Romania have helicopters. But he is keeping losing and losing more and more uh, helicopters because he is attacking a stack of cruisers. Cruisers, they have good on tier against helicopters and also against uh, aircrafts. And also I have the frigates. Okay, those cruise missiles, they are falling on their target. A lot of them has been intercepted. So this is my fears. Uh, from the first, I said, I hope that stack doesn't have frigates. Yes, it did have frigates and they lost all of my cruise missiles. They all have been um, intercepted. Here I'm going to target this uh, naval officer. At least I am sure that the naval officer, he doesn't have frigates. He is only um, one naval officer and four cruisers. 
Uh, naval officer have good defense against uh, missiles, but not the cruisers. Every cruiser have only one point defense against cruise missiles. So I think that these cruise missiles they are going to be deadly on him, and they will inflict some damage on him, I guess. So we will see after this experiment what will happen to the Belarusian naval officer. Looks like he already lost one ship, one cruiser, and I keep sending more and more cruise missiles to him. Looks like these missiles haven't been launched. I will send another wave. He lost one cruiser, I will send a second wave to him. This is my stack of four destroyers. Of course, destroyers are not going to attack the naval officer with my destroyers. I will focus the assault of my destroyers on their attack submarines because you know, destroyers, they are very strong against attack submarines. Elite Infantry Battalion, Royal Gordon, United Kingdom. I am fighting the elite, uh, the naval officer of United Kingdom on the borders of Iran there with my attack helicopters. But here I really want to focus on this naval war because it's being chaotic as also Romania is sending a lot of cruise missiles to me. His cruise missiles have been intercepted by my anti-air, the anti-air of my frigates and I also have anti-missile in Mersa Matruh and it at the range of my anti-missile, he already took down those cruise missiles coming to my ships. You see from the notification, if you focus there, I really intercepted a lot of cruise missiles. A lot of them. And the ASW helicopter has been dead. Um, I lost stack of ships here. Ah, my naval recon has been lost here. It uh, looks like I kept attacking with the naval recon and the anti-air of the Belarusian ships have been destroying it. Here my anterior is activated. Looks like Belarus is using some naval recons on me. He also have some naval recons. Let's go back here to the naval battle. You see that Chad didn't use his air force yet. I'm going to uh, launch an attempt on that crawling place. The place that have all of the Austrian army uh, I have of course some nuclear um, nuclear warheads and I have some ballistic launches. I will try my luck and launch those uh, nuclear warheads, ballistic missiles on that region and see if they survive. I know that uh, the European coalition have a lot of anti-missiles and SAMs also, so I will just try my luck. I know the percentage of my missiles reaching their targets is almost 5 or 10%, so I will take that chance and of course we will see what will happen. My navy is exhausted, you can see clearly that my naval officer has taken a lot of hits. My stacks of cruisers and destroyers also have taken a lot of hits. Uh, the Belarusian navy has resisted very much against my huge and large Egyptian army, uh, Egyptian navy. You see, against the uh, Asians, I really destroyed them within minutes. Uh, they didn't really take so much time. Let's have a look at the casualties, because this war has been deadly. Okay, let's see me and Belarus. Belarus have 90,000 and me 57,000 casualties. Um, here Romania 24,000 and me 13,000. So you can see, uh, me alone, I have been inflicting a lot of damage to the European coalition. And yes, Belarus did inflict it to me uh, like 50,000, it's too much, but imagine Belarus has received 90,000 casualties. And this number is going to go higher and higher because the war didn't finish and you can see clearly that Belarus is sending more and more land armies, more and more missiles on me and more important, he have a lot of attack submarines, so the naval battle is going to be very hard. The tanker ace of United Kingdom has been destroyed. This is what I was thinking, uh, this is what I was speaking about in the first episode, where I spoke about my attack helicopters. My attack helicopters, their first um, task is to destroy those huge um, British uh, land armies, because he have two huge stacks, Two, two huge stacks, one is equipped with the tanker ace, the other one with the infantry officer, so they were very strong, but their only weakness point was the attack helicopters because he didn't have mobile on tier. So that's why I used my special card to win this land battle. Here Ethiopia is helping me with the land battle and he is charging forward with his tanker ace. 
is targeting those Belarusian um, multiple rocket launches. I also launched two strikes of uh, my artillery to destroy the Belarusian multiple rocket launches. Soon, the Eastern Front will be liberated and I will flank them and encircle them all the way from Iran. I will turn around them all the way from Iran and those uh, central armies, I'm going to encircle them from all the sides and kill them in the, cent uh, in the, um, in the center. This is my strategy. This is what I am going to execute in this battle and I hope it goes as planned and I hope it goes um, successful. So here the second wave of the cruise missiles has been landing on the uh, Belarusian uh, naval officer and he lost another cruiser. So only now remaining one naval officer and two cruisers and they are having a lot of damage. My nuclear ballistic missile has been intercepted. So this is what I was speaking about. Those three ballistic nuclear ballistic missiles I sent on the center of Turkey, on the Austrian armies, they all have been intercepted because I said they have a lot of anti-missiles so the chance of my missiles reaching their target was very very small. So here I'm going to gather these two, uh, uh, two frigates and two destroyers. They have been fighting so hard and they uh, received a lot of damage. I'm going to uh, gather them in one stack to be able to fight because keeping them separated in two and two is going to be vulnerable against uh, the European assaults. My naval recon aircrafts then never stopped assaulting those Belarusian um, attack submarines. It's, it's only a matter of time until they fall. This is a sonar contact. To be honest, I know from the beginning of the game that Belarus have a Wolfpack commander. Uh, this is the submarine elite um, commander and he didn't really appear. And I'm still searching for him and trying to um, locate his um, Wolfpack commander. Because his naval officer, the surface vessel naval officer, has been already located and now I am sending a lot of cruise missiles on him and I'd like to kill him as soon as possible because his on air is bothering me so much and I want to really attack those submarines without being damaged by his on air So yeah... I will send also a nuclear cruise missile, come on. Let's see what will happen. He is going to fall soon. He is going to fall soon. Only two strikes, two strikes left. The bad thing that the admiral officer, uh, the naval officer, have a lot of hit points. So it's, I am going to pay a lot of cruise missiles on him to be able to kill him. Let's see the sonar coming from the west. This is it. This is the Wolfpack commander of Belarus. Come on, boys. Come on, my naval recon aircrafts. Let's kill him. He is an easy target there because he have no on tier and he also entered the shallow waters this is a huge mistake this is a huge mistake look at the belarusian uh, elite wolf pack he entered the shallow waters he is only on the half of his hit points and also his attack damage is not so strong so now he fall into my trap and i'm going to kill him very easily i will focus all of my npa on him and i will kill him he will dead he will die. Also, I have some surface vessels here around. I will launch some strikes on him because the reload time has finished of the one hour of the 60 minutes and now I can launch my assault. The land battle is in progress. It's going very smooth. It's going very good. This is overstacked with 14 multiple rocket launchers. What is this? What is this? Why are these ballistic missiles they are? They are targeting my ship. My ship is in the middle of the in the middle of the sea. Why these ballistic missiles they are targeting my ships directly? What is happening here? What is happening here? Because ballistic missiles they only can attack centers of the cities or centers of the provinces. You can't launch a ballistic missile in the middle of the sea or in the middle of the ocean. You can't do that. You c I never seen this in the game. I never saw it in Conflict of Nations. I don't know what is happening there, but it looks like a glitch. 100% it's a glitch because um, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Look, uh, ballistic missile. 
No, my task force has been destroyed by that ballistic missile. Look at this. I have a stack of five cruisers and a stack of five frigates. They are all going to die. How these ballistic missiles, they are killing my ships in the middle of the sea. How is this happening? No, my ships are dead. Look here, look. They have a damage on the, on, on the ships, of course. But only that damage when the ships, they are in the harbor. They are in the naval base and you target the naval base. You target the city. Can only target province centers and cities. That's it. It doesn't attack in the middle of the ocean. Okay, okay. You see clearly that I just lost a stack of frigates and a stack of cruisers on my eastern front of the naval battle. Thank you so much, Serbia. Thank you so much. And he is still sending more and more conventional ballistic missiles. This one is landing on Homs. I hope they get intercepted because the missiles, they really bothered me a lot in this battle. They really inflicted a lot of damage on me. I'm running out of ships, I'm running out of land armies and the Europeans, they still have a lot of reserves. They still have a lot of armies waiting, they still have a lot of attack submarines and ships and more important, their arsenal of ballistic missiles, it doesn't want to end. It's a wave after wave, wave after wave. To be honest, I have to say this in this video. Thank you so much, the European coalition, for this amazing battle. Like seriously, I have never had such an advanced and beautiful battle like this. The European coalition, they almost had everything. They had main battle tanks, they had special forces, they had national guards, they had uh, infantry, they had rail guns, elite uh, helicopters, they had a lot of uh, stealth fighters, strikers everything they have the full package and anti-missiles sans and multiple rocket launchers this is on the lands only i'm not speaking about the i'm not speaking about uh, the naval battle because they had the destroyers the cruisers the frigates the submarines a lot of submarines this battle is amazing and the european coalition is doing very well in this battle this is so far the most successful and the most beautiful community game I have ever done. I have ever organized in our Discord server. This is amazing and so beautiful to watch. Another ballistic missile is landing on my armies and I hope, I hope my anti-missiles, they will intercept it. Okay, the, f the seventh attack wing has been destroyed. It looks like my anti-air has destroyed something there. On the front, uh, Serbia has a lot of main battle tanks, a stack of 10 main battle tanks. I will see what I can do to them. These are very heavy and very deadly. My anti air has been activated against that uh, ballistic missile. And let's see what happened. I hope it's intercepted. I hope it's intercepted. Yes, good. It is intercepted. This is Romania, sending another ballistic missile here. I have a theater defense system. He is targeting my airfield where all of my uh, attack helicopters flying from. This is a smart attack from Romania, to be honest. But I am, of course, very smart that I always defend my airfields and aeroports with anti-missiles. Always. I never, never leave the base of my commands unprotected and so vulnerable against missiles and uh, uh, air, air assaults, of course, the air assaults. So this is very important when you use an airfield or an aeroport and use all of your aircrafts flying from it. Keep all kinds of anti-air there. Keep one mobile anti-air, one SAM and one anti-missile, please. Because this is very important. What is this aerial... Um, what is this? Oh, conventional cruise missiles. Belarus now is sending a lot of cruise missiles on my ships. I already killed some and he is sending them from all the sides. Look at that. Look at these cruise missiles coming from all the sides, guys. He is launching a large scale uh, attack with cruise missiles from all his ships. It looks like he is sending them from his uh, cruisers and his ships because yeah, those uh, max level ships, they all launch cruise missiles. Okay, let's move our cruisers. I will assault that um, naval radar coming. I'm going to gather some ships here, north of Alexandria. And he have 
Actually, also, he have max level cruise missiles like me. Okay, let's make it a battle of cruise missiles. You give me some, I give you some, and we will see who will run first from cruise, uh, from conventional warheads. Because I have now 108 conventional warheads, and we will see what will happen. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I love it. I love it. It's chaotic, it's a large scale war, it's amazing, it's so beautiful and I'm thrilled and like the adrenaline is going into my veins very much but I have to stop here guys and see you in the next episode and we will see what will happen with this huge huge battle. See you guys, see you guys in part 9 and bye bye.